Hey guys, massive week for Bitcoin and crypto on the whole this week. Obviously, we've got Spot Ethereum ETF going live today. Then in the next two days time, we've got the Bitcoin annual conference where we're expecting to see Donald Trump feature and who knows, maybe Elon Musk may also make an appearance also. So it's a huge week. And obviously, there's going to be those of us out there that expect Bitcoin, Ethereum and everything just to fly as soon as Ethereum starts trading today. As we know from experience, it's not always the case. What we do know is it's bullish and the impact of it is going to last years to come. OK, now what we need to do is throw in the TA to look at where we're likely to find support again to continue the upward trend. So just very quickly to recap on what we're looking at here, we can see we're in a strong bull trend. We've been looking for support in and around 55K. It did come down and wick down to 53.5K to be precise. But the key level of 55K held a support. It was the confluence of these two pitchforks where I was looking for support. It was my invalidation point for the bullish trend because if it came beneath here, it would be looking very top heavy and I'd be concerned about it falling down. However, as you can see, it's held on very, very nicely. So what I will do, first of all, is look at the major count. Why have I got the 170K target for this year? So let's delve on into that. So just zooming out and going on the weekly time frame, it requires looking at this chart. It's the Bitcoin index chart because it's got the most data behind it and because we're looking at the Elliott wave count from the Genesis. Ultimately, we've got a major wave one, a two, a three, and then the fourth is a triangle. We'll need to zoom in a little bit just to see that a little bit closer. So the triangle is an A, B, C, D and E, very small E wave, but a, uh, completes the triangle. And then what I have it as for the fifth wave ending diagonal, where we've got a wave one, a two, we're working on a three and we've got a four and five to follow. The exact same play out with this terminal diagonal in terms of time and duration, sorry, duration and, and the, the, the way in which it's playing out with the terminal diagonal is playing out in exactly the same way on the Dow Jones. Okay, I'll do that a coverage of that in a separate video, but very, very nicely, we're getting this kind of converging terminal fifth um, that you can see where we're, we, we can extrapolate this line here, just connecting the highs, and we get a lot of confluence in and around this point. So if we connect the highs, we've got the pitchfork upper warning line coming in at this point. So it's all coming in at around 170K. The vertical line here is the US election, so November this year. And then there's one other little bit of confluence to consider, which is the FIB projection, which is if you take a FIB retracement tool from this high to this low, so it's the, the most recent major high to most recent major low. FIB retracement tool, you get your FIB projections and it's the 1.618 FIB projection. Again, further giving confluence in and around 170K. So yes, it's suggesting that we see an explosive move from currently sitting at around 60 uh 66k and we're looking at for a move up during this year up to 170k so yes it is huge but as i say i expect a lot of volatility this year there's a lot going on and we all know what crypto is capable of when it starts to move so to say this isn't possible um would be uh ridiculous really but uh of course it's hard to imagine it until it happens but those of us who have been in the crypto space long enough knows how the, these charts tend to move. So there you go. There's all the confluence in and around that point. So just taking off the fib. And so that's the reason for the kind of the ballpark target of 170K, after which we expect to pull back before another surge, probably terminal high in around 2026, that kind of time frame. OK, but for now, one step at a time, we're just focusing on this wave, which is our third wave of our terminal diagonal wave five. So zooming in now, let's go on the daily time frame. As I said, we had the confluence of the pitchforks, lower median line of both pitchforks uh, getting hit very, very nicely. So we've got our major pitchfork, which is a, a, an original pitchfork with a very steep gradient because it's a very strong bullish trend. And then this shift pitchfork holding the corrective price action, which I have as a WXY. Um, and you can see on the daily time frame here, we had no candle closes beneath this intersection. So worked wonderfully well. 
and you can see the response here we've absolutely surged to the upside now for the last couple of weeks and now it's the time that we get that um, news well not news the news has been out about the ethereum etf going about to go live for a while now and you kind of argue it's been priced in to some extent but now we're going live and we'll see you know how how much money starts flooding into that kind of that sector um so yeah it's a very good strength that we're seeing here now the way i'm seeing this obviously we could get a little bit of a pause because of the fact that we've we've shot up over the last couple of weeks pretty quick so if we go on the four hour you can see here a strong upward trend um at this point i'd just like to throw in our camera pivots which will give us a a better idea of how this kind of consolidation before the continuation of the trend to the upside could play out but one key thing that i like is that we're above the median line of this shift pitch rock i expect us now to stay above this okay the invalidation for the whole bull trend still remains what i've had for a very long time which is this lower median line okay as time goes on you can see that lower median line obviously getting higher which is great because it lifts our invalidation point um and tightens our risk reward essentially so you can see vertically down from the current point we're at is around 58k yeah so that 58k mark is the invalidation point however i don't think we would come down that low i believe that we stay above this median line now now that we're above it i think we, we, we've cleared it we used it as a bit of resistance here now we've plowed through it i expect if we do come down we start to use it as a bit of support okay so i wouldn't be too surprised for us to just see a bit of consolidation before the next big leg up and just to get an idea of how that might play out is just bringing on our camera of pivots let's take off the other annotations a moment and we're going to start on the weekly so here in the weekly time frame each of these camera of pivots uh, periods here represents a year so this is the year of 2024 a bit of a dip down in beneath the r4 but ultimately held on to it and i expect this to be a very strong year finishing way above the r4 we can see historically how these camera pivots have worked wonderfully well um but yeah let's just go down onto the daily time frame now which is a bit more relevant because there's more lines to contend with uh, with a bit of overhead resistance to contend with at the r4 at 70k for this month now when we're on the daily time frame each period here represents a month so the month of what are we in july um the r3 around 63k is currently just about holding price up now come the end of the month i do expect us to finish above this r3 could we dip down this week beneath it possibly we might get a weekly close just beneath this point um but ultimately come the end of the month i expect us to finish above 66k yeah i think we're going to see a strong month finishing nicely above the r3 uh probably the most relevant is the four hourly time frame so here on the four hourly we get weekly camera pivot ranges yeah so this is this is the week here so you can see the current week that we're in we came up the the week opens here so it's in the middle between the the r3 and s4 so sorry the r3 and the s3 uh so a little bit of a retest of the weekly open now we're down at the s3 where we're just finding a bit of support i've got a feeling there is that possibility of us just testing this s4 for the week and that's around 64k so we might just get that little bit of a dip down and i wouldn't be concerned about that it's all just looking as long as it's all looking very corrective and as long as we're staying above our uh, invalidation uh, which as we mentioned was around 58k then it's all good okay so yeah as i say i don't mind we've gone up pretty aggressive here in the last couple of weeks i don't mind us dipping down into 64k so that's where i think price might just consolidate and find a bit of support um worst case scenario is us finding a uh, testing again the invalidation level of 58k just to bring back our lines to show where that sits it's this lower median line in and around here um that would be the worst case scenario but as I say, because we've got the median line support here now, which is just around 63k, the um, the four hourly S4 camera pivot down here at 64k, I don't think we'll dip further than 64k. All right. So I think, but <clears throat> as I say, there is that chance of a bit of consolidation before the next big move to the upside, because arguably we've had a third wave completion here. We could argue that's a wave one, two. 
and now we've seen a one two three four five okay now we might just be putting in a wave four before we continue the trend to the upside and as i say if we're going to do that expect a bit more of a lengthy pause um which could bring us down into that 64k kind of region okay now i do think that still the reason the other reason that i think we might get a bit of consolidation before continuing the move up is because i still feel like looking at the ethereum btc chart i'm just going to pull that up quickly i still feel that it was due a, a little bit further of a dip to the downside i was looking here let's take off these camera pivots for this i was looking for this lower median line to get hit i know it doesn't have to get hit to the t but i was expecting it to get a little bit closer than this um, and also hitting the 50% fib of this aggressive move up. So we're here on the four hourly time frame from the low to this high. Uh, we should put that on. So I was expecting the 50% fib to get here, the lower median line to get hit. And we just kind of, it looks like we front run it and started shooting up to the, uh, shooting off to the upside, uh, probably in anticipation of the Ethereum ETF going live today. But as you can see, we've got a fairly big pullback here. And I've got a feeling we just see a bit of consolidation over the next week or so. And that could allow us to tap this point. After which, I believe Ethereum and alts are going to take over. And we're going to see a lot more relative strength in, um, in Ethereum, which will then follow over into altcoins also. So this is really key. We're just looking at the lower time frame here on the four hourly. What I want to do is just show you the daily just to recap what we're looking out for here. So this is Ethereum versus BTC and on the daily time frame with that strong run up and we have, I believe, finished a corrective move yeah, into this point here. So this point here was a major swing low in my opinion. I believe it's a very nice correction finish. So first wave, second and third. We've hit the 0.382 Fib retracement from our major low to major high. We've hit the lower median line of a shift pitchfork. And then we've had a really nice impulsive response, which has been followed by a corrective move on the lower time frame. Okay, so all that is absolutely textbook for what you'd want to see for looking for a trading opportunity. Um, and as I say, if we're really going to fine tune this, and really trying to play it to the T in terms of time, we allow it to come down that little bit further, hit that 50% fib on this move from the fib from this low to this high, hit that lower median line, and then it's blast off from there. Okay. Sometimes it's not a good idea to try and perfect the analysis so closely because you could end up missing out on the move altogether. But if I am to anticipate the way it's going to play out, that is the kind of what I would expect from this um from this chart so as i say i think altcoins will all start moving once we tap this level down here so it might be going into next week might be uh, come the uh, the start of august fresh month we might just start flying from there who knows it could be even faster it could be when we get our bitcoin conference uh, a surprise announcement on the day who knows could be something like that but as i say i'd, I'd be looking out for that level to get tested right there on the ethereum btf chart all right, guys, so that pretty much rounds it up. As I say, just expecting a little bit of consolidation. Just wanted to show you where my invalidation remains. Just wanted to show you how I expect us to maybe to consolidate a little bit before continuing the upward trend. And the upward target for the year remains the same until proven otherwise. But as long as this trend is being maintained, as long as we're above this lower median line, I think this is a very reasonable target, especially with the volatility that we can expect ahead. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up there. Take care. Thank you for your attention and watching through to the end of this video. Now I know there's a lot of you watching that would like to learn how to confidently trade the financial markets independently and I also know how confusing this can be regardless of how many stressful hours that you put in. For that reason I've put together all of my trading knowledge in a complete course titled The Works. The Works consists of thorough and jargon free lessons broken down into a comprehensive curriculum providing you with a holistic understanding of the markets and giving you an accelerated journey to being able to analyze and trade the markets all by yourself. And for those of you that are looking for my weekly detailed video analysis on crypto and stocks, then there's Cryptology, which is a subscription that will also give you access to the works while subscribed. For more information on what's included in the works or Cryptology, you can head on over to wave618.com or alternatively use the links in the description to this video for a limited time 50% discount offer. So I hope to see you on the other side, but in the meantime, if you would like to sample some of my educational videos, then you can check out these videos that you can see on your screen right now. 
Thanks once again and until next time, take care.